like seeing this mic out in the open like that i hope you guys can hear me like this i would rather have it hidden in my outfit than for it to be out there in the open hi guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on this video just in case you are seeing my face for the very first time you're very welcome to this channel my name is oiza and i am the nigerian girl i am a lifestyle blogger based in birmingham in the united kingdom if you stick around you get to find out more about me so subscribe to my channel click the like button and drop me a comment down below to let me know where you're watching this video from so first of all let us address the elephants in the room hey my mic don't turn upside down i feel like i have to apologize every time i do a video because i keep going off the radar and to be honest, there's no explanation for that. It's just life. I do this thing whereby when life gets a little too much for me, I just cut everything and run away. I'm like, no, can't do this. Don't want people to see this aspect of my life. I'm just gonna stay offline and I will be fine. But it eats me and it beats me up deep inside because I know that I could be doing so much more I could be creating even if I do not feel like creating and you know just being consistent at it but I guess the body wants what it wants and the mind wants what it wants but the good thing is knowing when to get back up and knowing not to give up and I don't see myself as a quitter because regardless of whatever is happening around me I will still create content I will still post it at my pace, even if it's once a month, I will shall do it. So I want to thank you guys for constantly coming back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on my videos. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for dropping comments. Even when I'm offline, I still get notifications that you guys are watching my videos. I still get comments from you. So I want to say thank you so much for investing in me. And grace is sufficient. I will do better. And I'll be back to my old self in due time. Anyways, I've been away for a while, but whilst I was away, I kept creating content. And this particular vlog you're about to watch is a fun one because I met one of my... How do I explain who she is? So this particular person is special. Her name is Chantel Ayam. I've been watching her from way back when... Actually, I found Chantel's channel through Nelo Kiki when Nelo used to go all the way to Chantel's house to vlog her cooking. Chantel will always batch cook soups and <laughs> that's how far back I watch her. I've been watching her rather. Anyways, I was scrolling through Instagram one day and I saw a post she made on her community page where she was talking about how she was going to organize a meet and greet because she was coming to England. And I said to myself, wow, this would be a great opportunity to meet Chantel. So I did my findings. I reached out to her and I said, you know what? I'm coming for this. Thankfully, my sister is based in London. So I said to myself, I'm going to go. I am going to go. So I packed my bags. I went along with Tiara to London. And yeah, you guys will see in the vlog. So please sit tight, relax, and enjoy this vlog. I would say we were good together. Just so happy. 
Hi guys, so I have dressed up and got so let's take these glasses off so you can see my face well enough. decided that she was going to hold on to tiara for the day i can hop on any train i want to hop at any time i think i'm going to be a bit late for chantelle's meet and greet because i didn't leave the house on time and don't really know my way around london just yet but i have faith and i'm trusting god that i'm not going to get lost today so fingers crossed on that the next station is east Croydon. guys i was able to locate the venue without getting lost all thanks to god google maps and asking around <laughs> unfortunately for me by the time i got in everyone was already seated and i kind of felt bad because i was late but seeing Chantel and every other beautiful lady here was worth it it was so worth it it was like a gathering of a sisterhood we connected so well. Look at Metro Gypsy. I've been watching her for years on YouTube and I met her in person, all thanks to Chantel. I'm going to put a link to everyone's Instagram page and YouTube channel in the description box so you can check them out. We had great food, great drinks, great company, and we took amazing pictures. You guys, Auntie Mabel actually came with gifts for everyone and I thought that was really sweet of her. Imagine someone coming all the way for your meet and greets and still thinking about how to do something thoughtful for you in the process. I pray God blesses you, Auntie Mabel. I know you always have your tiny, tiny bags, so you have something to take you to today. <laughs> to look for where to take pictures. <laughs> More pictures, actually. This is a gathering of women. A gathering of content creators without content please tell me because i don't know <laughs> you guys we stopped the traffic in oxford circus and we took pictures maybe you see we created mad content everyone was looking at us people were staring people were wondering if we were crazy but we didn't care we took our time and did what we had to do and it ended up being so amazing and i just want to use this opportunity to say thank you so much chantel for organizing this and for making us to make meaningful connections i have learned so much from you over the years and and one day i hope to be just like you i tap from your grace so after the meet and greet i met up with an old friend of mine from uni we hadn't seen in years and it was such a good opportunity to catch up because obviously i was in central london and then Kemisolai was so great to see you we hung out at nando's um i couldn't really eat much at nando's because my stomach was full from the pasta i had at the meet and greet but i just had dessert we did a lot of catching up we took pictures we took a walk and it was really nice and then i went back home to my sister and my daughter Hi Adrian. Yeah. Hi Adrian. This is the baby of the house. The lady of the house. So this is goat meat, chocolate goat meat, jollof rice, and plantain from a niche. And to be honest, it's not so bad.
I don't have any food though. They cannot fly, can they? Can fly oh my Duckly, 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 they're coming. Duckly. And it was good. <laughs> Why do I feel like a child again? You're going to love it, honestly. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> no go follow! <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to swing? Mm? It's okay. It's okay. Hi guys, uh, so I got back from London yesterday. So something weird happened yesterday when uh, we're coming back. So I packed like all my luggages, packed everything. I had like two backpacks. I wore one and then I hung one on Tiara's um, stroller. Then I held like a tote bag in my hand. Then I was supposed to have this, uh, what's it called? This hand luggage, you know, this small stink cagey. The one that you can roll around, yeah. So, I boarded the train, got to Birmingham. The trip was stressful, but like, we started reach Birmingham. So when my husband came to pick us up from the station, he now looked at me and said, ah, I just say you carry load. Then I looked, I looked, I looked. I was like, wait, wait, what? Where is my bag? Then I started trying to backtrack and like find out where I left the bag. Then it occurred to me that ah, I don't remember coming down from the train with that bag. I don't remember boarding the train with that bag. So then I started trying to re retrace my steps. I called the Uber guy that, you know, picked us up from the house, took us to the London train station. I called the, what's it called? I called the train station. I called different, like, see, in fact, I was losing my mind because I was like, oh my God, where did I leave this bag? And you know, everything, everything that I shopped during my trip, everything that I bought was inside that bag. So eventually, <laughs> I now reached out to my sister's friend who was at home at the time and I'm like, please, can you help me check outside if the bag is actually outside the house so I know where to start from. So she checked <laughs> and she said, ah, nothing is there. Hey, I was already like, oh my God, do my enemies have gotten me. <laughs> so eventually, it then occurred to me that, wait, I don't think I actually boarded the Uber with that bag. So then it was later that we found out that the bag was in my sister's room the whole time. Apparently, I didn't even carry it downstairs. I didn't board the taxi. I didn't board the train with it. I was just like, what the hell? And that bag is so heavy. So you now we're going to have to figure out how to get my sister to post the bag to me and stuff. So yeah, it was funny and weird. Because I'm like, why am I always forgetting things like each time I travel? <laughs> yeah, by the way, I also forgot my tripod. Both of them. Yeah. Pray for me. Pray for me. Oh, no. 
Good morning. Today is Friday and um, I have just to just you see those boxes that I showed you in the previous clip. <laughs> that was my bag. My bag and my tripod. Thank God for my sister who was gracious and nice enough to help me send it. I had done my research trying to see how to get it done and everyone I reached out to each company I reached out to was telling me oh it's gonna cost you about 300 pounds 400 pounds I'm like huh to send my but how much is the ticket how much is the everything that I bought in the bag please dear don't worry don't worry don't worry so but thankfully we we're able to find like a cheaper um service yeah we use the the post office and it cost me about 36 pounds to get my bag back so I really thank God. It will help me thank God and pray against the spirit of forgetfulness in my life because, <sighs> guys, if you guys remember, I have like a history of doing this thing. When when I was coming from Nigeria, when we were relocating, I think when we got to Doha, I lost my tripod. Yeah, the previous tri tripod I had before this one, and in that tripod bag, it had my mic. It had like everything that you know i used to create content so i was really bummed about it but thankfully my husband got me this one this was my christmas present and then i went to kind of forget forget it again mm. oh let's move on so some of the things i missed so much when my bag was in here was my bible and my devotional because they were in the bag and i use them every morning i even take pictures to share on my whatsapp and social media groups and i know that obviously a lot of people are being blessed by it i'm also blessed by it every morning so i really felt really bad because i knew it was going to affect me drastically but thankfully my sister was nice enough to help me take pictures of it that lasted me till the day she was able to send it so i really thank god for that see so even my makeup post was inside the bag i'm supposed to have a shoot next weekend with um aditola films you guys will see that because i'll definitely vlog my birthday is coming so i invited him over to come and you know do his magic because we're hitting a milestone this year and it's finna be big you know what i'm saying oysa 3.0 oysa's thriving 30 